Friends, I cannot believe that as the winds of February have blown among us, it's blown in sooner than I maybe was ready for. We're right at the gateway to Lent. So let me say a word about this coming Wednesday. I look back at my years of, at Central, one of the pleasant surprises has been the support of an Ash Wednesday service. I, I, when I grew up as a young Christian, Ash Wednesday, eh, it was talked about a little bit, but there was just little faithful remnants of people that came to an Ash Wednesday service. And here at Central, people have just felt like this is, this is the starting place. This is the beginning point for Lent. What's the old saying? If you don't start at the right place, every station you come to is the wrong station. So let's start at the right place. Let's do it together. Uh, it will be online, the service, but I just hope as many as you as possible can be with us. It'll be at uh, 6 o'clock uh, this Wednesday. It's never a real long service, but it's very meaningful. You will come and I'll come and we'll hear the challenges of what's ahead of us. Most importantly, we will have the mark of penitence, the mark of Jesus' love upon our foreheads as we move together. All right, this Sunday. Okay, um, there's a passage from 20th chapter of John that always brings me back to it. Jesus showing up with the scars of his death upon his hands, the resurrected Jesus, and he walks into the room, and you'd think he would have a message like, let's let's do it differently this time. Let's um, carry a bigger stick. Let's 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 go at those who went with us. But he walks in the room and he says three times, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And so here we are. I've just been real aware recently of the uh, continued mayhem and violence loose in our world and in our own culture. We Now we have East Lansing added to all the other places. And I don't want them to just become dots on the CNN map without thinking um, that we have to never normalize that. So we're going to talk about what it means to be peacemakers in this world, to resist ill will, to um, stop separating ourselves. So I think it will be a message of challenge, but I hope also a message of hope. Look forward to worshiping with all of you Sunday. God bless you.